Hi everyone. So I pulled up in my little car here at this uh, church. I've been to this church before and um, yes, it's quite a nice church. And um, I thought it's nice and early in the morning and I could perhaps have a look and see if there's any angle that I'd be able to sit at and, and to paint. So just having a look round now. So I'm trying to show you. So down here is the church here. Where are we? Here. Ooh, can't get my finger to show you there. Um, so it's not easy to see as you can see. Can you remember those big trees that I shown you in uh, um, summer? How that they're all um, well, they're all filled out now, obviously. And um, yes, so I'm just going to make my way down. Yeah, so I'm all set up, talking quietly because obviously I'm sat in a graveyard. <laughs> and um, yeah, and somebody walking past with a dog, but not near me. So yeah, so everything's fine. So I'm all set up and uh, with my pan, done my pad ready, my art um, set ready, and. Uh, Ready to go. I'm gonna do some nice sketching. So just to show you, uh, um, just starting off with a little sketch here, but um, it's quite, quite uh, nice here. Oh, it's beautiful actually. So the, that's the wall where I've got my back to. There's me, and the wall up there. Look, and then across the top of the where. I can pull my arm around there. That's the main road and some housing. And the church is here. Can you see the church? It's beautiful. Can I see what we can react from this? I think I can feel a few sketches coming on from here. As soon as you don't go stay loose, it's all gonna go wrong. So you've got to stay loose and just relax. You don't have to be an expert drawer. Gosh, I'm not an expert drawer at all. And um, just put, think about some angles a little bit. But that's about all. Okay, and then here, um, at the side of here, there's this huge tray. I'll just show it here. See it? Um, easy to turn the camera around to show you. And here there's an absolutely huge tree right in front of it. So So just for now, I'm just going to do a few just like marks, rough little marks that's gonna that it comes across the door. In fact it's higher up than that. Doesn't matter. How it comes across the door, right across the door and right across here. And then uh, the other tree comes from this angle here. It's a bit of a strange angle really. Don't know whether I'll put that in or not. No. In front of here, there's like a little see how rough I'm doing it, loose. How much you keep telling you about staying loose, how important it is. The more that you think about it, the worse it's gonna be. If the lines are wobbly, does it matter? Of course it doesn't matter. Um, you know, it's your it's your drawing at the end of the day, and uh, it is important to sort of just enjoy doing it. It's all that you need to do. Like a giant planter here. Okay, 
and that's all the steps that I'm wanting. So I've got the trees coming up here and then the church itself is peeking out of the top of the trees. And then these branches coming up here, they really are quite thick and heavy. That's a wiggly. Whee! Just enjoy yourself. It's not a soul around, it's just me. It's just great. I just love it. So, there we are. That's a little bit of a sketch there. Uh, there's some windows going down this side here too. I don't know whether I'm going to put those in or not yet, so I'm just leaving that. But I can see which way that the um, the angle of the church is that's going down that side, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, they're on legs. Most importantly down here, there's some beautiful old graves these are war graves um, I've looked it all up war graves been here for years and years and years I can't even see what's written on this one this one's going at this angle almost falling over I love that Here. And then over here, there's one. It's kind of laying down. Just put in where I feel like there's going to be a bit of shade in there. I'm a bit of a smudger when I uh, draw. This side is very dark in comparison. Gives me a bit of an inkling for when I'm uh, actually painting. So this window is very. Oh, beautiful pigeon up there. This window is very kind of, it almost looks like it's brand new, it, it probably is. And there's like these little stained glass windows in here. And then it's crisscrossed. This is darker here. And then from this angle, you see, I can only see half of the door. And it's got something on the door there. And it's got something in front of the door there. Again, trees come right across. I say trees, this is just one tree. This is, it's crazy, it's huge. I'll turn the camera and show you. See, look, can, can you see it? It's crazy, good size of that tree. Okay. Such a lot going on here. Yeah. 
these trees are really weird shaped here because they're hundreds of years old as you can imagine in the graveyard they, they seem to be have a different shape to them to normal trees i don't know why that is but they do so um yeah kind of strange so yeah putting in some you can't see me here I'm just putting in some um, still working on some large areas you know because you can always then fill in your detail when you get back to where it is that you go you can just pick up your colors while you're here that's that's what we want remember about mixing these beautiful realistic greens try and get them in the greens Instead of just using it out of your palette, straight from your palette, try and use the greens that's here. Your, your yellows and your blacks, yeah? Loads of yellow, tiny bit of black. And they're more of a realistic green. And, uh, yeah. Okay then guys, I've got just about everything that I want. Um, I've done a little bit of abstract as well, um, just on the floor here in front of me. Um, I can't really do much more. I need to go home and uh, look at some reference pictures now and um, where I can concentrate and be a little bit more comfortable as well. It's, um, it's okay sitting in a chair and, and being out here and things, uh, but I also need to sort of get back and um, have a look a, a good look i mean and um yeah so on the abstract side of it all that i've done is collected some colors and done a bit of mark making so um it because then if any of the colors need adjusting which they do obviously because i've only done it rough um it's there it's there isn't it so um so i'm just going to enjoy my cup of coffee and let things 
dry off and um and then i'm going to go back home um i hope you like the video and i hope it inspires you to get out there as well and um yeah enjoy <laughs> okay bye so i'm back again um back in the studio now um so i thought i would uh, just show you how uh, i ink it all in i'm using a fine liner now and just going round and adding a little bit more detail So I'm carrying on here. I've really enjoyed this um, session. It's been really nice. Um, I'm back in the studio, like I said, and uh, feeling a little bit more relaxed. It's very relaxing to be outside, but you're constantly looking around as well. So uh, you do have to be careful. Um, yeah, so it's nice to be relaxed in a nice comfy chair at home. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so we've carried on and um, just working on those greens still and um, trying to bring them uh, forward and pushing some back and uh, yeah thoroughly enjoyed today i hope you've enjoyed the video um please don't forget to like and subscribe like i've said before and i constantly say um but yeah this is my little style and this is how i like to work so uh yeah coming towards the end of the p painting now and um yeah, really enjoyed it, just putting in some dark areas. And now putting in some light areas as well, just just with a, a, a gel pen, actually. So, uh, yes. Okay, then. I hope you enjoyed it all. Bye, everyone. Bye.